Hey guys, what's going on? It's Nock. Welcome along to a brand new stream. It is Wednesday, the 28th of June. Hope you are well. Hope you're having a great week. And we are about to jump back in to Penumbra Black Plague. Um, so, to kind of recap where we got up to the other day. Uh, we made it into the sewers. We, like, escaped this weird thing. We come across this weird thing that was, like, trying to chase us in the medical bay. And we got to, through the um, pure blood. So it seems like our blood isn't pure, because we had to use the body of the scientist on the floor. And... Excuse me. Um, and then we escaped into, like, the safe haven, but we found out that everybody is gone. And we found a way through the... into the sewers from the kitchen area. Um, seems like we're playing the son of like the lead bloke at this facility um, but yeah it's some sort of weird disease that's going on but um, anyway let's see what else we'll uncover today if I can remember the controls alright Slowly, slowly. Okay, save batteries on a flashlight. What? What just happened? Next kidney. <laughs> hey, Bugo D. His <laughs> I know this place. I've been here before. All right, so I'm on a boat. I'll make out what that says. Go here. Kind of something. Kind of soup, maybe. Bugo D Resider. <laughs> it's perf. It's a perfect picture of this room, almost. So, what is different? So, what is different? I don't know. Pictures. Let's open the drawer, shall we? Nothing in the drawer for us. I swear around, every time I like, turn around, it's like the fire, but I keep knocking my head on this light, I think. I remember forgetting to put this on. Uh, okay. A locked chest. Hello, treasure ghost. Hello, Slacketh. What's going on, guys? I'm all good, thank you. Do I just need to maybe go out of here? I can't. All right. Whee! Hey, Aaron. Did I not say hello to you? I do apologize. I am so sorry. I feel bad. What's that on the floor there? Maybe we need to... Hold on. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Can I put the chest... Why do you insist on, like, rotating? It's quite frustrating. Squid soup. Can't beat a bit of squid soup. A 
my goodness, this is like so... It's like so hard to just navigate these things and... That was a weird sound. In that picture, there's a can on the shelf. Uh, yes, yeah, this can here. I want the other barrel. Do I have to replicate the picture? Is that the idea here? Is that like barbed wire? What what the hell is going on? Is that somebody's hands with barbed wire wrapped around them? Is that a head? That's uh, a head, right? Yeah. Aliens confirmed. The hell? Is that what I was meant to do? I meant to put it on there, maybe. Got a sack. What? What, what the hell is going on? Valve is stuck. What? This game is making no sense. I have no idea what's going on. I'm genuinely quite weirded out. My mouse cable isn't long enough.
please, just let me use the noose. Let me let me get it over and done with. Please. There are twos and threes in this world. What does that mean? There are twos and threes. Noose, books, red. Not very descriptive. Do I have to... Can I shut that off again? Nope, it's stuck on. That seems to do something. Oh, okay, so we need to work out which ones are the right ones to set things on fire, I guess? So that one's definitely one. That one's one. Didn't that hand change? That hand changed, right? I'm certain of it. There's another one there. And there. Wait, these just like all appeared? Do I know why it doesn't make sense now? I have no idea. Ooh. Uh. As much as I like it to be ours, can I just get out of here? Holy crap. I'm sure that hand changed. I'm sure it was a closed fist before. Yeah, let's let's pull the bloodstained lever. Why not? Alright, what have we got here? Can I swim?
We're dreaming. Um, you know what? I think I might want a flashlight and a torch here. Someone trying to... Get at me? I have no idea. Um, what the hell is that thing? What the hell? There was doors, now this <laughs> I'm so confused! Save me, Jeebus! Oh my goodness. Um... What am I meant to do? That worm reminded me of something from another game and I can't for the life think of me what it is. I dreamt I was in a desert and suddenly a pizza store fell from the sky. The woman who cooked the pizza cooked them inside the oven. Okay. Valve gets everywhere. Is there no way to... Oh, there's a ladder there. Is there not a ladder on this side? Okay. Oh, okay, so I, I guess... Man, this is going to be a pain in the ass. This is, um... Yeah. I see what I need to do. Seems like it's going to be an ass to set up. Is 
So. Can I just like float? No. I like deplete my entire torch at this rate. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on. Hold on. I have to do it the other way. Man, why is my mouse cable so bloody sh I have a better idea. Do you get. F is there fall damage in this game? Yeah. It's probably like. Yeah. It's pr proper crippled me as well. Okay. See if that works. Yeah, let's see if that works. I presume my glow stick never runs out, by the way. <laughs> ah, screw that, here you go. I would love to get out of here. Me too. It's not like a sealed manhole cover though. Can we even just like... We can. We'll just do that. Huzzah! We made it. Out of the sewer and into the toilet. Excellent. I've had better days? Yeah, looking like that. I guess you have. I have no running water. Batteries. And that is all. The cleaner needs to come in and replace the bog roll. I have another computer though. What's that? That's just a book that's fallen off the shelf, I guess. Okay. Fuse book seems to be working. Anything in the drawers. Flare. Batteries. And... Nothing. Some kind of chart. Doesn't have any power. Okay. Oh, we have lights. Okay, so that one controls... Okay, we're going to control one thing at a time. 
No. Who's going that one? Thank you. Oh, incoming video chat. Wow, you look like you've crawled through a sewer to get here. I suppose no I'm shit. flattered. Hi, I'm Amabel. Amabel Swanson, and I suppose I'll be your guide for the day. Hello? Can you hear me? I think the transmission's only one way. I've got a webcam. Pull a silly face if you can hear me. Oh, very attractive. <laughs> okay, we're on. There's some things you need to know. We released a virus. It wiped us out. Three weeks ago, we tried to get out through the mines, but it didn't work. I'm trying work to pause. I missed the conversation there. I think one of the Inuit workers made it, but others were taken. Some panicked and got lost. I ran, and when I stopped, I was on my own. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. The only chance we have is a man called Howard. My dad. He said he'd found a solution to the virus. His vitals last registered in the library, but only members of the organization have access. I'm still seeing a few life signs in the residential quarter. You need to find a survivor and get through into the library. Oh, and look out for our medical guy, Richard Eminis. He was acting strangely when I last saw him. Hmm, what else don't you know? Let's see. Watch out for signs of infection. Present and accounted for. Did, did you say something? Look, the symptoms we know about are paranoia and oral distortion. Oh, and another symptom is deja vu. N enough already. My sides are splitting. Well, I think that's everything you need to know. I'm sending over some research on the virus, and I'll get some doors open for you. Maybe now we can shoot the shit. Shoot the what? Uh, da, 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 da. So, field notes about the virus. Worst thing about our job, death helps us learn. Time frame, five weeks. Location, hold up in the old mess hall. That's where we came from. Uh, three archaic archaic personnel who've contracted the virus. With every infection in the process, the life cycle of the virus becomes clearer. In addition to the already documented symptoms, there seems to be some final stages during which the organism fully takes hold. Just before becoming fully catatonic, the infected reports strange the infected reports strange out of body experiences. They've likened these to being chased through a series of their own memories. Some kind of mental obstacle course. Hmm. A bit like what we just experienced. These reports inevitably end in the patient being swallowed by some inescapable dark force, shortly after which we lose them for a good for good. If those experiences are if these experiences are, as see they seem to be, some form of mental representation of the infection, infection process then we can only theorize as to what might occur where the patient to were the patient to escape the hallucination man I tell him like we did dr. Eminis confided in me that he has just such an experience he insists that he feels better than he has in months I'll keep an eye on him is that okay so is that the weird doctor she was talking about then So the weird doctor she was talking about? Possibly. Possibly. Alright. If we must continue to share this brain space, I think I should have a name. Strange. So rare an opportunity to select one's own nomenclature. And yet, I find myself at a loss. I want to stand up, please. Any ideas, monkey? So much storage in this mind of yours. Did you realize you got an entire section in here devoted to film titles? Three thousand one hundred three Seriously. and a half films you've seen? You only got the first half of it's a wonderful life in here. Huh, how does it end? Now I'll never know. You know, Clarence, that's not a bad handle. I am something of a guardian angel. I just wish he'd stop fracking because this is quite annoying. Alright, I'm gonna get back. 
infirmary. Oh, well, we need to go to the library, right? I can't go in there. Is this where I just came from? It is. Great to see that I'm keeping notes of which way I came from. Palm print and retinal scanner. Let's go to the infirmary, shall we? She said to keep an eye out for the doctor. So... So we can get them out. So we need to smash the glass. How could I smash it? I got nothing I can use the moment. I should have. <laughs> Luscious past, an exciting future. The archaic, a history spanning centuries. As a member of the archaic, you're part of an organization vital to the protection of the human species. If you're not a member of the archaic, please turn yourself in to the nearest community support officer. The archaic, as we know it, was founded in 1519 by Francesco Mel Melzi, a Milanese noble. The foundation of the movement assumed erroneous Erroneous, erroneous, erroneously, by some to be a sect, a sect, <laughs> was the work of Leonardo Di Piero da Vinci. What? Leonardo da Vinci? Is it, was that his middle name? Di Piero da Vinci. Hmm. Revealed to his most trusted student, Melzi, on his deathbed. Many rumours circulated at the time, personally towards a sexual relationship between the two. And this was an explanation of the secrecy they were quite happy to embrace. Much is held to be to be known of Da Vinci's emerging work, engineering work. Sorry, my reading's all over the place. Let's try again. Much is held to be known of Da Vinci's engineering work, though in truth, the few sketches and notes in the public domain only begin to touch the depth of his knowledge. For instance, it's often said of his designs for flying machines that they were entirely impractical. We realise now that they are only impractical when limited by human production materials. Alright here. The archaic remained unnamed for centuries. Melzi and his successors understood the power of a name to identify it and t tie down its owner. And even today, the arch today, archaic remains an unofficial and internal t term. As we enter the 21st century, the archaic performs much the same role as it always has, to locate, understand and protect Xeno evidence and life forms, albeit on a far greater scale. Today, the movement is served by over 30,000 devoted members and 203 installations worldwide. Okay, interesting. So, yeah, the protection of alien life forms. Hello. So where am I? This is the infirmary. One. I should have just looked for the massive circle where it says, you are here. ID 3061. Didn't I write that down before? Uh, no, it's not one of my codes I had before. Alright. 
Hello. So this is why I couldn't get through here before, I guess, right? Yeah. Okay. Welcome back, Hugo. Notice about an upgrade retinal scanner used to access the library. Also, someone has pinned a newspaper article to the board concerning malnutrition in the food supplements. They close the door on me. me peeking uh treasure ghost Can I use the sword to defend myself? Is it a weapon? Hey JC Moose, what's going on? Thank you very much for the follow. Welcome along to the community guys. Make sure we give them a big welcome along. How did he not see me? Jeez. Uh oh! Run, 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 run!
How's he going? Nope. And I'll come. Is he just like walking like a U-shape around this room? So I don't even know where I'm meant to be going at this point in time. I'm not scared of you. Come on. Bring it. Um, huh. Uh, okay. Really? Can I not kill him? I guess I can't kill him then, no? And they're throwing a metal box at his head. I thought maybe I'd been able to do something. What was that? What was that? Oh, she's in my inventory. I'm meant to be heading to the library, no? Okay. It kind of is like a loop around this room, isn't it? Cans of Red Bull on the floor. Okay, it minces. Alright, I'm gonna wait for him to go again, and then I'm gonna go. I'm gonna wait again, and then I'll go. I got this. You see, this time he'll change his freaking path, won't he? And he'll move in a completely different direction, a completely different pattern to what he has been doing before. One button. Let's go into storage. Sod that other room. <laughs> oh. Well, 
if I I don't really understand though why the um, this pack of C4 next to it, Hugo. Um, I don't really understand why though it's how the beams are so uh, clever enough to only kind of like identify when I walk through them. Hey ho, what's wrong with it? Big whoop, wanna fight about it? Look here. It seems, yeah. The visual cortex of this monkey is certainly of a simplistic design. If I can just there, you see? It's like molding clay. But take to interrupt you while you're showing off your logical problem solving. Let me put it more simply. <laughs> you see what Sorry, I bit cold here today. To Little shiver. Well, it won't work if you move around, will it? You can't look up the magician's sleeve. All right, hazardous materials. Why is it I get the... I just... Alright. Dr. Richard Eminis. Theoretic effort of controlled infection. Report requested by Overseer Frisk on behalf of the Elevated. For the record, I see no value in recording this information at such an early stage in the project. However, we were, were we to assume that the virus could somehow infect a host without fully taking control of its upper brain function, we might observe the following. Fact. Translator Lefresque, in his ignored efforts to prevent the release of the virus, correctly predicted the virus was capable of manipulating the host's motor neuron functions. Theory. Where an instance of the infection controlled and sustained, we may find that A, the virus seeks, seeks to keep its host alive in whatever way possible, suicide would be against the rules, and that B, the virus gains control over some or all sensory functions, facilitating just such an objective. Fact. When the virus infects a host of any species, it adapts to the organism's brain functions as best it can, can to suit its own purpose. Theory. Were the virus unable to fully take hold, it may develop some partitioning of the host consciousness, effectively preventing a small corner of the host mind into a form of secondary personality. Fact. The turn... The, is that turn gate? Tvern gate? Virus was released from, according to Lafresque, a tomb many centuries old. Theory. Were some mental segmentation to occur, it seems plausible to suggest that each personality, the virus and the host, may have access to one another's memories. Given the age of the virus, this may be a substantial collection. It should be carefully noted that the bulk of the above remains con conjecture and should not be relied upon in any archaic protocol. I'm... I'm not you... I'm part of something larger. We are nothing. We are a mistake. I need to rejoin them. Release me. Let me out. This is not right. I should be with them. I am them. There should be no I. Yet, this is not the first time. Another was infected. Red. He so wanted to, but... We would not let him die. Did he call us a disease? So... Are they saying that, it, that they, they control whether the host lives or dies? Interesting. Face melted.
Oh hey, look at that. I turned off the defences. Is it safe to take my gas mask off? I knew that was gonna happen! Oh! Why didn't I see it before? Such a doofus. Um. Ah, uh, okay. Thank you. Please, thank you. So a way that I can maybe climb up to that? I don't know. I did just notice so that before, that wasn't there. That frickin' egg thing or whatever it is. There we go. Excellent. Maybe I bring a barrel across. Climb on the barrel. Yeah, that wasn't there before. Um. Pretty cruel. All right, Aaron. No worries. Um, to be fair, I think I am probably going to end it up here anyway myself. Um, we seem to be in a good place to kind of call it a day um, because we are coming up to the hour mark. So yeah. Um, yeah, at least we got out the sewers and we made some good progress, but um, thanks for very much for watching guys. As always, I appreciate the support. Thank you very much to the new followers as well. Uh, as always, my links are on the screen. Please go check them out if you haven't done already. That would be absolutely awesome. But until next time, I've been Nock, you've been awesome. Happy gaming.